everyone, Nat Shaggy Shorten here, back for another episode tonight. Absolute shock and awe, I'm sure you're all in, because tonight it's going to be another estuary fishing episode, I'm sure you can tell that from the title. Um, should be fun, we're just going to go down to the boat ramp we've been hitting up lately and, and try and get onto a few. Um, I've got some bait and some iced coffee in the back, iced coffee is so crucial on nights like this. Um, and there's a speeding camera up here actually. I'm just telling myself that so I slow down, make sure I don't get pinged. Um, so yeah, tonight should be fun. We'll just be uh, doing the normal thing, estuary fishing. Um, I'm going to try and film most of it tonight, which I guess is a little, little bit different. I'm going to try and have the camera on all the time, because if we're the only ones there, I'll be able to park the car and I can charge the GoPro. Yes, I have the cord. I can charge the GoPro with the car. Um, if we run out of battery and I've got two hours of recording time so try and record everything um, but yeah as I said a bit of pilly flick it in there try and get a mix of species another nice mixed bag uh, and try and get on with a big school of brim too like last time that was good fun so let's get out there and get into it alright guys moment of truth even if there is someone there we're still gonna stay and fish and there is someone there there's a few people there it looks like well, we're still gonna stay and give it a try, because why not? We'll, we'll just have to fish down on the rocks a bit, which is not really where I want it to be, but at the same time, it's actually someone launching, it looks like. So, at the same time, it's all G. Baby. Yikes. <laughs> Nearly spawned a brim. Live bait, that's all that is. What do we got? Oh, that's a whiting, that is. This little unweighted rig on the high tide seems to be doing well. That was just on some pilly tail. Really small little pilly tail. And that there's not a hard one. Let's get my light on. There we go. Nice little whiting. Good little start. <clears throat> yeah, they like uh, they like it. Down she goes. They like it unweighted on the high tide, that's for sure. <sighs> Gorgeous little fish. Oh, simmer down. Simmer down. There we go. Good start guys. Back you go. What I'm doing with this tide, kind of high like this. Just got a small, small run of eight pound litre. And then I've got a small suicide and I'm just putting tiny bits of cut bait on that. And just casting it out within the range of this light here. So fish seem to like it. And because the tide's running this way, it creates a large eddy in this, in this part here with the boat ramp. Oh, and so a lot of the slower moving fish are just chilling out there waiting for a feed. And that's all we're doing, giving it to them there. So, this unweighted rig has done well here. The uh, boat trailers and whatnot up there, we're going to have one more boat coming in and then this boat ramp will be ours. The tide is not doing what I want it to at the moment. I thought, I can't, apparently tide times here just fucking don't matter. Um, I don't even understand, but... It's going to be high tide soon, which is good. That's fine. Um, yeah, actually, it's going to be high tide very soon. It's coming in extremely quickly. I'm nearly standing in the water, I just realised. So um, once this high tide comes in, starts to turn, and the tide starts running out that way, that's typically when we catch our fish on the run out here. So wait for this guy to get his boat in. I'll bring my car down, get some lighting, get some tunes, get some uh, shelter, and uh, hopefully that's when we'll catch some fish on the unweighted. Just had another big tap. I don't know if he's there. Oh, he's not there. Yeah, this unweighted one's going good. Fish on. Oh, not a monster. Oh, it feels all right though. Yeah, it seems like a nice fish. Got to steer him this way. Seems a decent one. Where are we at? Pretty heavy. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad little run. Oh, keep coming this way, keep coming this way. 
Where are we just in there? Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's a good fish. Big Brimbo. Oh yeah, that's a really healthy brim. That's 30. You good fish. Well, that's a stunner. Great start to the night, guys. Ah. All right, let's have a look here. I'm gonna call 31. Oh, maybe even a bit bigger. It's a very big brim. What are we working with? Yeah, she's 30. A few millimetres shy of 32. That's right. Yeah, it's a good fish. That is a really good start. Let's hope a few more of them come along. Have a good night. There's another one. Ooh. All right, a few brim coming in tonight. Oh, what's that? Yeah, it's a brim. It's just really light rod. <clears throat> Should be another legal though. Exact same thing that's happening to us the other night. Good ones coming in. Different tide this time. Yeah, that's another really healthy brim. I think that'll be legal. It'll be tight. Yeah, that's another legal fish. Two from two. Good stuff. Yep, he's there as well. Another legal. and just turn the camera off when I hooked up because I forgot I had it on so that's going to be a strange little cut this one's nice too though three legal brim in about 10 minutes I reckon <laughs> oh this one might be a bit under thinking what have we got oh there's a lot over there well, that's not a terrible fish. I think he's tangled around his fin there, which makes him seem a bit bigger than he is. Oh, he's going to be tight. Might be one of the infamous 24s, I think. Close, though. That other brim, look at that. Got me decent on the thumb there. On the side spike, like the, they don't even usually have those. Well, that one did, all right, let's see. Need more of like a sturdy ruler for this ramp. No, nope, he's there as well. Well, how about that, guys? 10 minutes of fishing. Three legal brim in about 10 minutes, including one that went 32. Good beauty. Yep, he's there. <laughs> How good is it? Great shit. Alright, send him back. Yeah, good man, how are you? I'm good. That's Any good. Any luck? Yeah, got a few legal ones so far, but I threw them back. It's been pretty good. Yeah, brim. Yeah, brim and I got a whiting as well, yeah. What are you guys going for? Brims. Brims, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully there's a few about for you. It seems to be a pretty decent yeah. night for it. Is that about to running out yeah it's running out now it's just turned yeah yep. time i've been alone there's been people fucking bringing in boats taking out boats i mean it's crazy right it's a boat ramp and there's people fucking driving boats around and shit what the fuck but like legitimately i am very happy now because it means i can just pull my car up and chill for a bit don't have to worry about anyone else being around so that is a big bonus um and I obviously can't talk about, you know, too much while there's other people around because they're just going to think I'm loopy. 
and I can't show the same excitement, you know? I can't, I can't be the real me, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. So, now that everyone's gone, I can be the real me. Loud and proud. Oh. Not that it was all bad though, actually, because old mate came past, um, gave us a ton of free mullet and a bag of white bait too. Which is uh, pretty cool, because I'll definitely be using that mullet. There's a whole mullet in there? Yeah, there's a whole mullet in there, look at that. And some white bait. So, that dude's a champion. That's fish. Not a big fish, is it off? I think he's off. No, he's still there. Must be an absolute baby. This must be a diamond, guys. Surely this, this isn't a brim. It is a brim. No, it's a diamond. Yeah, I was right. Called that shit, boys. A few uh, little butter brims around. Uh, that has to, I, as soon as uh, I hooked that, I'm like, yeah, that's it. I'll tell you what, it's not a bad sized diamond though. Um, I'm surprised it fought so poorly. There you go. Do you want to, I'll give you a bit of an interesting fact, guys. These diamond fish, oh, shit. Flano, maybe not the best idea. Oh my God. Interesting fact, right? They're called diamond fish. I never knew why, right? Look at that, the outline of it. Guys, it's a diamond. It's a diamond shape. That's why they call it a diamond fish. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I'm glad the internet's here. It teaches us so much. All right, back you go. Oh, thanks, man. Now I got wet trackies. I should have killed you. Get it, there's one. <laughs> oh. Oh, I dropped him. I've dropped him. Bugger. All of a sudden, guys, it has just gone off. So, as I'm pretty sure I said in those videos, this place can be very hot and cold. And at the moment, it is cold. That butter brim's the only thing I've caught since those three legals. So, really chilled out. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Don't kick my line back at me. Well, I would have been disabled if I didn't hook that. It is, this is dead, look at this. Has this died? On the way in? What is this? This has to be another diamond fish, right guys? Surely. It's got some decent weight to it. Yeah, it is a diamond. Wow, that's a pretty big one. God damn. Look at that, that's a fat diamond fish. Swallowed the bloody hook. Jesus Christ. Simmer down, simmer down. Oh my God, look at that. He's done a good job on that hook. Oh baby. Nice. Nice. Good hook up. Come on. Get into it, guys. This is a reasonably heavy fish. I wonder if they're coming back already. They've only been out for about 40 minutes. Yeah, this could be a legal one. So hot and cold though, nothing for ages. And then we get snapped up. This is a healthy fish. Where are we? Down in there. Yeah, very healthy fish. Oh, that's easily legal. That's easily legal, guys. Yeah, that's a big one. Why did not he... Why? Oh my god, look at his tail! No, maybe it's not legal! <laughs> no! No! What the hell? That, that explains a rather poor fight. Is that some kind of disease? I don't understand. I feel like almost every day of the week, if that fish has a normal tail, he's probably gonna be a legal fish. Maybe he'll still get there. I don't know though, guys. Nah. <laughs> That's funny as 20. Three, almost 24. With a normal tail, that fish is legal easy. Damn. That's just upsetting. What happened to him? Poor little guy. Anyway, good luck, buddy. You deserve it. Let's 
two more fish and then head off guys. It's not too late. It's just uh, slowed down a lot and I feel very content. That 10 minutes was really all we needed to be here for. That was great. Lighting was pretty cool too. Again, a range of species. It's good stuff. Look at that, now I'm getting a line kick back. Got him. <laughs> oh, I don't think that is a butter brim. It might just be a brim. Yikes. Well, we finish on a high note. It was a good as trip. I had a great time to be honest. This is an alright brim. He did not bite very hard. He was just chilling. This is a nice fish though. Oh, he's off. You're kidding me. Did he spit it? Yeah, he spat it. Bugger. Well, I guess we don't end on a high note. Alright guys, well, that was an absolute lesson in uh how to use your days off. It was a great day. I'm on an absolute high at the moment. Um, that first trip with Blake, we got that big carp, that was great. Good to see Blake. Um, and great to get a good fish too, especially when we didn't think we were going to there for a bit. Good stuff. Got to spend the time with the missus, which was great. We had a good night. Um, got to see my mom as well, which was cool, and then get out for a fish and be back before two, and I've got work tomorrow. Um, but it's pretty late, so that's fine. Have a good sleep tomorrow. I'm just absolutely stoked. You get one. I got. I didn't have days off in a row this week. I just had. I had Monday and Thursday. So um, to spend Thursday like that is just. I'm so happy with it. It's great. That was a good session. Got a few good fish. That 10 minutes there was just insane. Um, that brim that nearly went 32. Man, good fish. Tank of a fish. Always get a 30 brim when we go there, which is great because you don't find them everywhere these days. They're quite rare, in fact. So good to see that. That whiting was cool as well. Um, kind of sucks we got skunked a bit by those diamonds at the end and missed that last fish. That wasn't great. But um, all in all, I had an absolute ball tonight. And uh, it was all in only a few hours. I like these shorter little trips, you know, where you get it done in three hours. I can go home, I can sleep, I can chill, I can edit some stuff, you know. Um, and it's not six hours of, you know, Six hours of content I've got to wade through and find the good bits. It's short and sweet. I like it. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I don't know what's going to happen next um, because it's the weekend coming up, so I won't be able to fish. Um, but I dare say, I'm not sure what my roster's like next week, but I dare say I'm trying to get out camping next week, which would be cool because we've not done a camping vlog yet, but I'm trying to do that next week. Um, it's just a matter of what the roster does because if I don't get two days off in a row, then there's not much point. So we just have to see. There will be fishing coming up.